Today we are going to meet a member of the 4-H club here in Nova Scotia to learn about different breeds of chickens. <laughs> we are going to meet Brianna Carver who actually shows chickens, kind of like how other people show purebred dogs in dog shows. This is going to be very, very cool. Let's go. Hi, Brianna. Hi, I'm so glad you're here. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Who do we have here? This is Tony. He's a Bantam Black Cochin. Hello, Tony. What does that mean, Bantam Black Cochin? Uh, well, a bantam chicken is basically a miniature version of the standard. So the standard size for these guys should be about two to three times as big as he is. So I know that most chickens in Nova Scotia are raised for egg laying and meat production. <coughs> these birds don't really look like that, do they? No, these guys are most definitely show birds. Okay, so what is a show chicken? What's, what's a chicken show? So a couple weekends a year, anybody that has chickens can go uh, to one of our chicken shows. So we bring our birds in and they get judged based on their confirmation, how well they fit the standard of perfection. Wow. <laughs> is there a perfect chicken out there then? There is, <laughs> depending on how you look at it. So do you raise these birds all by yourself? My sister owns him and a couple others at home, and I own her and this one down here. So you take them to shows. Does that mean there are like diva chickens and, and chicken fights, drama? This one, he's a diva. Oh man. He definitely needs his spa day. What is a chicken spa day? Well, to get ready for the shows and to get ready for all the competitions and petting zoos that we do, we need to give him a bath and trim his toenails. So we set up four different buckets of water. And in the first bucket, I have Dawn dish soap so, because it cuts the grease and the dirt and grime off of their feathers, but keeps their natural oil. Oh my goodness. So you actually bathe the chicken? Yes. So what's your favorite breed of chicken? I like the Chanticleers the best. Oh yeah. <laughs> their history is just so different and so really? interesting. They are one of the only true Canadian breeds of chicken. Oh wow. Which I find really cool. So I like heritage names for them. So I've had Reginald, Gertrude, Prudence. <laughs> uh, where do you get your chickens? There are a bunch of different breeders all over the world. Uh, we like to stay here in the Maritimes. Um, he came from New Brunswick and she came from Cape Breton. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> are there any breeds that you would really like to get, but are maybe harder to find? I want Polish, but my parents are saying no because they don't like them. They think they look weird. So you've been doing 4-H since you were a little kid, right? Yeah. Great. So what are your favorite parts about that? It's hard to pick just a few. I definitely like working with the kids. <laughs> my different animals, all my chickens, all my rabbits. Oh, great. Do you do anything else other than like animals and agriculture? Yeah, uh, I've done some life skills projects as well. So I've done first aid, small engines. Oh, wow, that's great. So I kind of want to try holding the chicken, but I'm a little scared. Do you mind showing me how? Well, you're going to need to take your mitts off first. Okay. So basically, you're going to need to point his head in towards your belly button. Okay. Just like this. And then you're going to need to make like a finger gun. Oh, like okay, fingers. yeah. And two of your fingers are going to go in between his legs. <laughs> like this, if you can okay. see he passed off his feathers. Okay, yeah, all right. And your thumb is going to come around this leg. And your thumb <laughs> is going to come around this. And his breastbone should lay about there in your hand. And you're gonna come <laughs> I'm not mama. He doesn't like me. <laughs> and he should be able to just sit there. And you can hold his wings if you want. And tips of your fingers so then he can't flap. And then you can do anything you want with them. Oh, wow. I am not doing that. <laughs> Is there another way to hold a chicken that's just like, pick him up? Yeah. So just make sure that you have his wings. Oh, great. And then that you're supporting most of his body weight. Oh, lovely. Yeah. OK. And you can just sit there. All right. Let's try this. <laughs> Sorry. It's OK. Hi. He's very soft. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hello. Well, I sure learned a lot today about showing chickens. I didn't even know showing livestock was a thing. Maybe I should give that a try. If you're interested, just look for a 4-H club in your area and get started.